So today I'm at home, I'm gonna be doing a stencil art painting for a client. It's not really my style, but uh, I kinda just wanna show you the process and how to do it. So if you're at home yourself and you wanna try it, I will show you the steps on how to do it. And, um, all right, so let's go. So I'm just in my garage, got the easel set up here, moved the car out, and then I just got my paints here ready to go. I put this canvas tarp, it's always good to have so you don't make a mess. And there's my canvas board. This is actually handmade um, at home. It's pretty sturdy. I prefer wooden panels because they don't get damaged as much as uh, canvases. You know, they don't get dense and they're just sturdier. And here, put something to hang it. So yeah, you can get this wood at like Home Depot and stuff and you just have them. I like to custom make them because then you can make them to like frames. I have a bunch of frames up there. So you just put it here and then let's go for the next step. This is my projector. I got it at some local art store. I think it was like 80 bucks, but it's way worth it. You'll make your money back if you're doing a lot of commission work and I use it all the time to just project the image. So it's pretty handy, pretty easy to use. And just, you know, you can focus it there. I'll show you how it works in a minute. So I have the image here. I think it's like Nikki Six or something. But, gotta close that garage. Make it super dark. You know, the only thing that sucks is that light doesn't turn off. Okay, so then you get your little image that size. You put it under your projector. We kind of have them here already, but I think I want them closer or let me see, farther away to get more of the image. Let me see. Okay, so I just got done painting it pink. I have a lot of leftover paint. That's okay because they say, you know, um, just have enough paint because you don't wanna be short of it. That's what it's used for, is to use it, so. I don't know, I'm just gonna throw it away. I know I hate wasting paint, but it's acrylic, so it's gonna dry and turn into like hard plastic anyway, so. It's really hot in my garage. I'm like sweating like crazy. It, I live in California, it's like 100 degrees outside. I don't even know. So it's like unbearable. I need to crack the door, crack the garage, but um, I'm gonna let that dry. The pink's all laid out. And then I'm gonna go over to my computer and show you uh, how I pretty much made this image. I think it's Nikki Six. Yeah, but that's the picture that the client wants. So let's go and do that. So once you have the image saved to computer, you're going to want to go to Adobe Photoshop. I don't have any cool software to edit my YouTube videos. You guys can suggest it in the comments below because I'm just literally filming my screen because I'm kind of new to this. And I apologize because my computer has been acting up, it's been doing this weird thing. I downloaded this Filmora and I haven't tried it yet. I also have, what is it, Adobe Premiere Pro, but um, I think it's using a lot of space. I'm on a laptop, so I don't know. It hasn't been working that good. Come on, used to be computer, hurry up. Okay, so here's the image. You're gonna want to go to image, adjustments, then go down to threshold. You can hit posturize if you want to, but you could do without. 
This is just to kind of like, you know, I don't really need it in this case, but I'm just gonna go to adjustments. Go down to threshold, that's what you want. See how it kind of makes it? And then you could just adjust it here. Darker, lighter to the point where it looks good. So it looks good there. You hit OK. You just save it and then print it. And that'll be the image there. Just checking to see if this is dry yet since it's kind of hot out, but it looks like it's still wet. You'll notice that it's kind of shiny compared to other places where it's kind of dull. So that's the wet area. I laid it on thick, so it's gonna take a while. In the meantime, belching beaver or tears. So these are my three brushes that I use for fine detail work. Filling in big spaces, they're all beat up, but that's fine and kind of just a general outlining. So I recommend flat brushes, like lining brushes, it's like a 10. Round two. And I think this is just a wash brush, half inch. So that's what I'm gonna use. Also just use cups. It's three colors, white, red, and then just black. I go to Blick and I get this big tub of black for these kind of paintings. Um, this isn't normally like the kind of work that I do. I usually work in realism and oils, but this is kind of like commission work, what I've been getting a lot of, just stencil celebrity paintings. Um, so I just go with it, kind of just whatever pays my bills. And most of all, I just want to make this video just to show you how quick and easy it is. It's just projected image from the computer and it takes me less than an hour to do it. So if you're out there and you're struggling as an artist, just throw these out there. I mean, people will just eat them up. They love celebrity stuff. So just go for it. This other tip is going to sound really weird, but trust me, uh, drink energy drinks or if you don't like to drink energy drinks drink like a green tea or coffee something that's gonna give you that extra boost because on days like this where it's like a hundred degrees outside it's kind of hard to work but you have to get it done and you don't want to like get into it and be like eh, it's hot I'm tired like if you have that extra energy you're just gonna like let's do this like I have to finish it so drink something that's gonna get you energized I usually put a little bit of water on top of the black because the top will dry out just in case just a little bit just got done. Um, I need to look over it to see what I missed. So obviously it looks like crap right now because I was painting in the dark and as you can see there's some areas right here that I need to go over with black and just clean up some lines and should be done. There it is. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button. Um, next week, I think I will be doing Ozzy Osbourne. So I'll be making a video for that if you guys want to watch. So like and subscribe and stay tuned. Bye.